welcome back to Otaku No Video. As always, thank you very much for joining me today for my review of the Ghostbusters manga. That's right, a manga of Ghostbusters. And before you ask, no, this isn't some Japanese person who decided to do a Ghostbusters manga. This is actually a collaboration between two writers and four artists, I believe, all of whom are American, or at least you know, North American. So this is a, uh, a completely American production. Now the writers are not Dan Aykroyd or the other guys who wrote the original Ghostbusters movies. This is an original concept using those Ghostbusters characters, Ray and Egon and the rest. No Slimer though. And art by several different American artists who draw in the manga style. So it's all black and white art throughout. And the art is pretty similar from one section to the next, in the sense that, yes, it's different between different artists, but not so different that it's kind of shockingly obvious that, uh, 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 that you know, it throws you off. And that's kind of its strength and its weakness, because the art is effective in telling the story, but it is rarely amazing. You know, there are really no sequences in here that I can really pull back to my mind. It's just, you know, it's effective in telling the story and there are certainly the characters there. Part of the problem is the characters themselves. When you reduce those four actors, you know, Bill Murray and Dan Aykroyd and the rest, to these very simple lines, they look pretty similar. You know, they really weren't designed to be manga characters. So it's difficult to tell often who's who in some of these panels. Now fortunately the writing holds up. There are, in my opinion, three things in any Ghostbusters property that you need to get right. One is the distinctive comedy style. The second is the ghosts. And the third is the dialogue. I mean, the comedy in Ghostbusters is really distinctive. There are some sequences that feel more like the Marx Brothers than anything else. And you really have to get across this goofy comedy with this sort of horror action vibe, uh, but this sort of absurdism to it a, a lot as well, plus the fact that the original had four very different characters and, and four very different sort of comedic styles all melded together. And then of course the ghosts have to be weird and scary without being too horrific. And especially like in the original movie, there's a lot of very rapid fire banter between the different characters. You have some very distinctive characters who have known each other for a long time and so there's a lot of snappy dialogue. And fortunately the Ghostbusters manga really gets that across. There is some, some wonderfully snappy dialogue. I think they really get these different characters and how you have this witty repartee between the characters. So that's good. The plot actually refers back to bits from the original Ghostbusters movies, particularly the first one. And so that's a, a, you know, a nice little bit. I would say the story is not really big enough to, it's not a movie quality story in terms of being big enough for that, but it's certainly a little story and stuff happens. Basically, the, um, well, I'm not gonna get into any spoilers, but wackiness ensues, adventures, ghosts, things like that. And basically, that's the issue I have with it, is I don't remember much of anything that happens in the Ghostbusters manga. I enjoyed it, it was fun, I spent time with these characters and that was nice, but ultimately the story was kind of incidental, and it was all about witty repartee, and unfortunately when you're not Dan Aykroyd, uh, it's really hard to keep that up. So. Ultimately, it turned into a, one of these fun adventure stories that just kind of went, you know, went in one ear and pretty much out the other. There's not too much memorable about it, unfortunately. There was one great moment with Winston where he gets a really great line, really great moment. But other than that, it, it, it's pretty much a fun Ghostbusters story. Now, it should be pointed out, basically, the first Ghostbusters movie was really the only one that was truly remarkable. I mean, folks like the second one, and there's nothing wrong with, well, there are things wrong with it, but it's, you know, it's not a horrible film. But, you know, when you look at the other Ghostbusters material, like the cartoon series and the game and things like that, they're all fine and they have their, their moments. But really, it was the first movie that was, that was the magic. And so coming into something like this, there's not really that much of a huge legacy to build on. 
it's just it's just Ghostbusters. It's supposed to be fun. So that's what it is, and it works as a fun little work. And as long as you're okay with Amerimanga art, and certainly competent Amerimanga art, you know, it works. So those are my views. If you want to argue those with me or any other views, stop by otakunovideo.net where we have a forum and a chat room and you can email me and see the blog and all sorts of interesting stuff and talk more about all of this. So hope to see you there and thanks and until next time, don't be afraid of no ghosts.